So I wanted to show you guys a door that I made. Now these are tongue depressors and then a couple of popsicle sticks that I put at kind of an awkward angle. I didn't want it to be exactly perfect just because I thought it would be you know, more interesting that way. Um, and then my plan is to actually cut this out so that it's not just a square or rectangular shape like this. It looks kind of like a gate to a backyard or something like that. I want this to be more of a fairy house or a, you know, a hobbit door of some kind. So on the back side, what I've done, okay, I, you can see the little pencil line here where I'm going to cut it flat. And then the top of it is going to be cut like this. Now you might be asking what these two are. This is going to hold these pieces together. Okay, because when I cut this part off, the top edge of that and the top part of this isn't going to have this stick, okay, to hold it in place and to keep it there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these. Now I've got some really good cutting shears here that should work really well, um, but you can use a saw or sometimes you can even use just some good scissors, but these are a little bit heavier duty and they seem to be cutting pretty darn good for what I'm using it for. Um, it may take a little something to figure out, um, but that's just kind of the trial and error of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that since that worked out pretty well. Hopefully this will work. And I'm not too concerned if it's not exactly on this line. Cause I can come in and I can cut a little bit more of that angle that I'm looking for. Get that piece away. Hmm. See, the problem is I'm coming into that piece there, so I'm going to kind of I don't know if that's going to work by cutting, I think I just messed that up. Let's cut this flat there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it as best I can, because I can't really see at the same time. I thought these things were going to work a little bit better. I think they're made more for cutting metal, but I think, it, I, think I finally got what I'm looking for there. I'm going to try actual scissors here, since I think I can be a little bit more precise with those. Hmm. That's a little bit better. That's almost cut how I want it. That got rid of that piece back there. And so now... So there we go. I got a little bit of a chunk taken out of that top part there. Um, if I need to, I can add maybe a little piece back into it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it there, or maybe I'll add a little piece in there and to help that fill that in. I got a little piece that might fit in right there, just like that. I am planning on staining this or painting it, but you can see how the door is kind of starting to take shape, and that's where we'd start it.